Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday from our knees. Happy birthday to you. Hi, Alan Karpik uh, on a birthday Zoom with Tommy Luce, a person in Purdue basketball that needs no introduction, and uh, we appreciate it's number 26 today, is that right? It's 26, yep. Ah, and it's good when you're 26 and you look like you're 18, but but the, you'll be even better. That that facial hair makes it even, makes you... No, make, it, it helps me out. Yeah, no, you're good, but that, as I always said, it's always... There'll be a day when you'll be darn glad you have that those youthful looks. But uh, happy birthday to you, and thanks so much. Uh, you guys are so busy with the with getting ready for Bass uh, Indiana this week and all that you have to go on. Of course, of course, Tommy Tommy's a graduate assistant in the Purdue men's basketball program uh, and played for played for Purdue from twenty seventeen to twenty. Is that mm, right? Yep, yep um, twenty sixteen to twenty twenty. Yep, and uh, had a uh, had a great experience, a Big Ten championship in there, an Elite Eight run, uh, in, in addition to some time with Scott Van Pelt and, and some other things as well. Let's talk about first, uh, obviously, uh, I always ask about birthday traditions, and in February the, February the 21st, my guess is for most of your life, it has been in the middle, and with your family, it's been the middle of basketball, almost getting close to sectional times for your dad uh, and all of that. But tell me what, did you have any time to celebrate, or did you guys move it off to the to the spring, or how did you how did you do the celebration in the Loose family? Uh, we always figured out a way to celebrate on my birthday, whether yeah. it was, you know, having a, a party or getting together with family, but basketball was definitely a, a part of my birthday yeah you know whether it was like you said playing in the sectional or you know we had a game we we're always doing something with basketball it just kind of you know surrounded my family growing up so i i would say i i definitely had a few basketball games on my birthday you know your parents and speaking as as one that could be old enough to be your parent and then some uh must have done a good job with you. You're, hey, you're, 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 I never see you without a smile on your face, and and I know that things aren't as e never as easy as they seem. But talk about that role as a graduate assistant, and and your role even as coming in as a walk on and and not seeing the court a lot, but having to keep that attitude. What have what's been a thing that's uh, really kept you this way in terms from an attitude standpoint throughout your what appears at least all, ever since I've seen seen you in Mackey Arena and beyond. Yeah, I've uh, I've just always tried to be a person with like a positive energy to them. You know, if you, you bring positive energy, it kind of like gives off to other people. So, you know, whether that's been as a player on me being a, a grad assistant, I've always just tried to be that guy that uplifts people and, you know, makes them want to, whether it's working out, you know, harder, or, uh, making them feel better about like they missed a couple shots, telling them, hey, the next one's going in. Like, I just try to be like an uplifting person and uh, you know, that's just how I, how I was raised. My parents had me do that with my sisters. And so, yeah, <laughs> so that's how I kind of go about my, my business. What, uh, when you, when you've had a chance, you know, you've been around a lot, on a lot of teams, seen a lot of teams over the years, even before you were playing high school basketball, I'm sure. What makes this team unique, the, the, your, this year's team, because everything looks for, for the observer, uh, extremely cohesive unit, uh, team that supports one another, um, you haven't won them all, but you've won a lot, and yep. yet uh, there's always challenges in the season. What makes this team maybe a little different than others that you've been around? I think the uh, the difference is that everyone within the team wants to see each other do well and succeed. And, uh, you know, it doesn't matter. Like, it could be Zach taking a shot to put us up one, or it could be Fletch or, you know, Mace, Braden. It could be any of them, you know, down the, down the whole line. Like, you know, they all just want to – see each other do well, make an extra pass, get an extra rebound. They just, uh, they want to be there for each other. And, uh, and I think that's a, a big part of why we have such a good chemistry within our team is because they all want to see each other do well. And, uh, you know, they'd rather have the team win than have a, a good stat sheet line. You know, they want to have a winning season and continue win championships and keep it going throughout, uh, throughout March. You know, when you come in as a walk-on, you have to, I'm, I'm going to guess, I was a student manager, so I can relate maybe a slightly to it, that you have to learn to fit in. And and yeah. that's just part of it. You don't, you know, you. I'm sure knowing your personality, I would guess you just who, who you were. But you had, you have two guys 
this year that are really making a big difference on this team uh, with Fletcher Lawyer and Braden Smith. But they also had to come in and kind of figure out a way to fit in. Is it different than when you were when you came in in 2016-17? I mean, in terms of guys incorporating themselves into into a roster and also being a part of this uh, basketball team. No, I think that, you know, they've definitely done a great job. Like they've taken the bull by the horns and listened to the coaches and, you know, worked out throughout the summer and the fall to, to get to where they're at now. Like, you know, they're great players, um, but they use their resources that were given to them that, you know, any freshman coming into a program or any transfer, whatever the, the you know, the situation they may be in is, you know, they've just – applied themselves and used those resources to give them the best opportunity to, you know, to play. And that's what they're doing. Yeah, and they're, and they're doing it well. That's for yes, sure. They are. When you have, uh, this is a special week yeah, it, because it's a big, you know, and when you, and I know it, you're already smiling. So we're going to talk about Purdue, Indiana, and you grew up, uh, you ended up in Jeffersonville. You were in Richmond for a while in your high school career. Uh, you understand what this rivalry is all about. Uh, and no matter what's on the line, and there's a lot on the line, obviously, Saturday night in Mackey Arena, but talk about that and just, just is there an extra skip in the step, or is this team just focused on on looking at that, uh, turning the page and going on to the next thing? And, and, or, and maybe is it different for you just because of, of your upbringing and your experience in this rivalry? Yeah, I mean, being an Indiana kid, like the, the Indiana-Purdue game is always, you know, it's always a big deal to you. You want to, you know, if you're Purdue, you want to beat, Indiana and if you're Indiana you want to beat Purdue so uh you know that's always been cool for me to have been able to be a part of it but for us yeah we want to beat IU but we want to keep winning you know we got a a chance to win a championship and you know keep it rolling through March but you know it definitely starts with getting it done this Saturday so yeah yeah we and, and, and it will be uh You've been through some unbelievable environments in Mac Arena, but uh, yeah. I'm thinking this one just might take the cake. I mean, it's just oh, yeah. going to be unbelievable in there. Yeah, it should be rocking. It should be a good one. When you look at your your role as a GA and, and your and as I said, I had, had a chance to talk to Mason Gillis for another project earlier today about your role of training guys and, and tell me tell tell our viewers and listeners what is your daily grind with respect to this basketball team as a GA. Yeah, it changes depending on, you know, the type of, you know, the point in the season that you're in. Like right now, a lot of my workouts that I do with guys that me and Jerry do, um, yeah. you know, there's more shooting and not as much conditioning to them. Yeah. Cause you don't want to tire out their legs. Like they just want to see the ball go in. Um, but yeah, Mason's a hard worker. I mean, they're all hard workers, yeah. but Mason – because you brought him up. I mean, he, he likes to always get in a good sweat and, you know, get his legs loose so that he's able to, to get going for practice and uh, feel good about his jump shot, whatever that may be doing that day. But yeah, uh, in the summers, it's a, uh, it's a lot of, of skill oriented type work and uh, working on things that are like decision-making type drills that we, uh, Jared and I can do with them. And then obviously shooting and ball handling yeah. and all that. But but yeah, it's uh they they work hard and they do a good job when they uh, get in the gym with us and it's it's been a lot of fun to be able to to work with the guys. Any change even in your days of AAU and playing and playing high school basketball has it changed much in the last five or six years or is it are you seeing kind of the same kind of guys that you've that you ran around with in your playing days or have they have they evolved even a little bit more in terms of just personality or what the expectations are or those types of things. You're saying like the the players that yeah, are, I mean, have, have, are players different than even when you? Oh, uh, no, I mean, any good player wants to to work hard and they want to, you know, they understand that things aren't going to be handed to them. And I think that just is like that's in any sport, and that's like from the time that sport started, yeah. you know. And I think if that's your mindset, then that's going to make you be a successful person. And I I think the the difference in training or working out guys has evolved in the last few years there's more of a focus on it rather than when I was you know in middle school even in high school like I never really thought that working out individually was gonna you know I, I would do it on my own but I didn't really think that that was gonna get me better I would think that playing pickup and yeah. you know, actually being in like a game setting would would give me those uh those opportunities to know what I would be doing once I'm actually playing 
but they're both great. I think playing pickup games and I think working out individually, like they both are going to put you in a, a good uh, place where you can, you know, get your skills right and evolve as a player. All right. Uh, my last question is, uh, and, and obviously as a player here, you were in, in the in the Mount Rushmore of fan favorites. Uh, you're you're about there. You and Bobby Bobby Buckets in terms of guys that were walk ons that uh, everybody loved and uh, came about naturally. How did you you know from a personality standpoint? I mean, just dealing with that and getting getting not only the ESPN focus but all that. My gut is that it, that it might have been a little bit challenging just to oh, why is all this attention on me? But how, but how did you how did you internalize that and use it to as an experience that you're going to build on uh, through the rest of your career? Yeah, uh, when I first had people cheering for me the way that uh, that they did, I was like, man, like like why are they doing this? Like I get it. <laughs> they're Purdue fans; they want to see me do well. But man, I was just uh, I was getting a lot of love. But I learned to embrace it and kind of almost expect it because if I if I didn't, I was I was going to like psych myself out and be yeah. more anxious to play rather than having fun, getting an opportunity to go out there and and do what I do. Uh, but, man, it was a lot. Of, it was a blast being able to, to get out there and play and have the fans like hollering your name, cheering for the guys like the, they, they did. And I was I was really lucky to have been in the position that I, I was in. Yeah, we're going to attach your senior video to this to this story because it is just one of the best pieces I've seen. Just to, that'll be one for your your grandchildren, your great grandchildren, <laughs> however long you are on this earth, uh, you're always going to have that. And uh, I think that that's a that's a, a really cool thing. Now I got to ask you one final question: the last two minutes of the last game against Ohio State, when those guys come out, when Carson Barrett comes out, it's got to bring a smile to your face because you can relate to that. Oh yeah, James Martin, et cetera. That's uh, what was that like to see those guys finally get some time? There's been so many games this year that have been to the wire that no chance for these guys to get in. They had the opportunity against Ohio State. What was that like for you? Oh, I always like am excited to see those guys go in because they work so hard. Like yeah. the walk-ons and the red shirts. I mean, they they're part of our scout team during practice, so they're almost on the court almost more than the, the guys at, at times because they're out there playing defense, acting like the other team and. I mean, they really work their butt off and, uh, you know, to see them get out and have a couple minutes to to showcase their game and have opportunities to score. I mean, that, they deserve that. And it's it, it does bring back memories of me getting out there. And, you know, it's really cool to to see them do well. I mean, I was I was so happy for Carson the other day. It was, yeah, he, it was pretty cool. It was almost as good as your performance against Iowa. Not quite, but <laughs> almost, almost. Hey, so, yeah, hey, good game. You had a good yeah. Game. Tommy, uh, thanks so much for taking the time to do this today, and and I hope you have some time to celebrate tonight and and enjoy the the big two six. Uh, that's a good thing, and best of luck to you for the rest of the season, but also to to the guys that you're around. Uh, it's going to be a big week, and it's going to be interesting for the next six or seven weeks to see how all this plays out. But uh, have fun with it, and and thanks again for being a part of our. You know where Arnie's is, so you know it's oh, yeah. it's, a, it's a big deal. Someday I'll give you. I'm going to give you. a we used to do on the old Cubs games. They used to give away gift certificates. I'll give you one someday. So at least you can get a pizza out of this from Brad Cohen. And that would be a good thing. All right, deal. Sounds All good. Right, sounds good. Thanks so much, Tommy. Have a great rest of your week. Have a great rest of your day. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks for having me.